Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Prehistoric Speculation. But today, I'm going to be looking at everything to do with how Jurassic World Dominion and Jurassic World Evolution 2 are going to merge in Jurassic World Evolution 2, the game. The way I think this is going to work is there's going to be a DLC, a free DLC, that will release with the launch of Jurassic World Dominion. This will come out at some point in June next year, probably a couple of days before the launch of the movie, when all of the trailers and all of the dinosaur designs and all that have been shown. So yeah, let's get into the details of it. So, first thing to talk about, the most obvious thing to talk about, is all of the new dinosaurs dinosaurs that will be coming with this Jurassic World Dominion 3 DLC. The dinosaurs that will be coming in the DLC pack will be the dinosaurs that don't appear in any of the older games, but do appear in the film. So this excludes things like the Gigantosaurus, which was in the first game. With creatures like that, instead of just having them be in the DLC, I think from the game's launch, they'll be in, but they'll be using the new Jurassic World Dominion designs, as these creatures will probably end up being shown in the trailer for Jurassic World Dominion that will end up appearing at some point in November, December, around the release date of Evolution 2. The creatures that will be getting updates from all the creatures we've seen so far, basically, will be the Iguanodon, Dreadnoughtus, Deinonychus, and Gigantosaurus, all of which are appearing in Jurassic World Dominion, and all have different appearances, as the Jurassic World Evolution appearances are not far Final if they do end up coming back in a later film or TV show or something like that. So yeah, all of them will be getting new designs. The Iguanodon was shown in the sh uh, short preview, so was the Gigant the uh, Giganotosaurus actually is how it's pronounced, and the Dreadnoughtus. We've seen a sh we've seen an image of the Deinonychus, and it does not keep the original design from Jurassic World Evolution. Luckily. It is nothing like it. It's more of a cross between a T-Rex and a and a Velociraptor, but more the size of a Velociraptor. There should be an image of it on screen, actually. But yeah. So, then moving on to the actual most exciting part. So far, I've only talked about the stuff that will be happening in the game's launch. But the content that will be added in the, the Jurassic World Dominion DLC. This content, I believe, will be all of the dinosaurs that weren't in Jurassic World Evolution 1, but will be in Jurassic World Dominion. Because there's an overlap in Jurassic World Evolution 2, where the creatures that are in JW1 and JWD will just get updated. But the ones that weren't in JW1 but are in JWD will be get, will be added in the DLC that's coming in June. The creatures we've seen so far that weren't in the first game include Moros Intrepidos, which is the feathered, small, tyrannosaurid creature we saw, uh, Oviraptor, Quetzalcoatlus, and some unconfirmed ones, but ones that have been heavily speculated, Pyroraptor, Microceratus, and Therizanosaurus, and Dimetrodon. Pyroraptor has a toy line coming out later this year, which makes that quite favourite to be in the uh, upcoming movie. It's got some very bold colour designs, a lot of blues. It looks a lot like the level 40 um, Pyroraptor from Jurassic World, the game, actually. Microstratus is heavily thought to be in the game, mainly because it is the director's favourite dinosaur, and he's repeatedly says it's his favourite dinosaur. Therizinosaurus is one that's had a few leaks around it, but none of that is known to be true. However, it is a huge fan favourite, and it really makes sense for it to be in this sequel. Oviraptor and Moros Intrepidos have, have both been seen in the preview. These dinosaurs are both heavily feathered as well, so if there aren't any feathered dinosaurs from launching Jurassic World Evolution 2, Jurassic World Dominion DLC could be the entry point for feathered dinosaurs into the Jurassic World Evolution series, because it doesn't seem like they're going to be doing feathers in the base game, because even the Dimetrodon, not Dimetrodon, Dimorphodon, sorry, had its feathers stripped in the species profile. They had no feathers on it. But hopefully, with the Jurassic World Dominion DLC, they'll keep the feathers on the dinosaurs, because it makes really no sense to strip the feathers off an over Oviraptor. That would just be, that would be evil, basically. Um, it'd look like a plucked turkey running about. The other creature that I haven't spoken about yet is the Quetzalcoatlus, which I think will be added in the DLC for Jurassic World Dominion, because um, it's a much larger um, flying reptile than all of the other creatures we've seen so far anyway. We may end up getting something like an Aero Titan um, when the game launches in November, um, that the Quetzalcoatlus will have its model mapped onto that sort of animation set, so it'll basically just be a reskin of that, but hopefully not. Hopefully they stick to the medium to smaller ones for now, and then when Jurassic World Dominion comes out, they release this huge flying reptile that's just really cool and that adds a whole new thing to the flying dynamic. And Dimetrodon as well. 
Dimetrodon is one that again has been heavily speculated but we're not too sure about. Um, again, it's appeared in a few leaks I've seen but nothing other than that really but it does sort of make sense as we have seen it in Jurassic World Evolution, not Jurassic World Evolution 1, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom as a taxidermy uh, along with the concavenator as well. So that's all of the dinosaur stuff but that won't be everything that will be in Jurassic World Dominion. One of the other things I think they'll add will be some chaos theories that will directly relate to the film. As we know, chaos theory is a game mode where you'll be going to different locations and sort of things throughout different Jurassic Park and world movies. So you'll be able to go to the T-Rex escape in Jurassic Park 1 and you'll be able to go back to Jurassic World and see the Indominus escape and deal with all of that and sort of change the course where the park gets back in shape and it starts working again. That's basically what Chaos Theory is. And it goes without saying that there'll be some of these scenarios in Jurassic World. The Tyrannodon is one of the biggest pterosaurs. One of the most iconic traits is the protruding skull crest. Its solid and sharp beak is particularly dangerous. There's no parks in this film really, but there is some biosyn stuff as well. So if there's loads of new designs in biosyn, that would be really cool to see added. So maybe a more accurate version of the T-Rex and all that sort of stuff too. There is also a feathered version of the T-Rex in the fight between the Giganotosaurus and the T-Rex in the Cretaceous period. To see that come back in some way during the Jurassic World Dominion DLC, whether that's just an alternate skin or something like we got with the camouflage with the Indominus in the first game. That'd be nice to see, but that's a bit more out there, I think. But yeah, it would be nice to see some of the showdowns and stuff, and you have to deal with that. I don't, I don't think we'll be going back to the Cretaceous period, though, because there's not too much you could actually really be doing there, because um, there's nothing to, to contain. You can only really just look at the dinosaurs. That would all you'd really be capable of doing. But yeah, I think that is everything that I think will be in the Jurassic World Dominion DLC for Jurassic World Evolution 2. I've probably said Jurassic World quite a lot in this video, so please uh, ignore that. But yeah, thank you for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please consider subscribing and leaving a like, both of which really help me. Uh, it's like a huge morale boost and stuff, so thank you for that. Um, if you think anyone will like this video, please share it. And yeah, that is it from this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.